This is the seventh video in our series looking at how we set up and configure a Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. In our previous video, we took a look at how we can create a guest wireless network. So with our wireless network now fully configured, we're going to test the upload and download speeds for our internet connection. First, we need to open the Google Home app. As you can see, the devices that make up our Google Nest Wi-Fi network are displayed within the app. However, in order to run a speed test, we will need to select our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. When the Google Nest Wi-Fi router panel opens, we are presented with information that confirms that our router is connected to the internet and notes the number of Wi-Fi points that make up our mesh network. At the very bottom of the panel, we have a run speed test link. So let's start our internet speed test. The speed test will first test the download, then the upload speeds of our internet connection. Once the test has been completed, we're shown the results along with a simple summary of our internet speeds. Ideally, we are looking for results that are close to the upload and download speeds that our internet service provider has predicted we would get. While the test can be affected by factors such as another device uploading or downloading data to the internet, the results that you can see here are in keeping with the speeds that our ISP estimates that we should receive. However, if our internet connection did appear slow, because the speed test would have identified that our problem was related to our internet connection and not our wireless network, we could then contact our internet service provider and ask them to check our internet connection. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at the internet speed test built into our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. Not only can the speed test help to determine the status of our internet connection, it can also help to isolate if a problem with our home network relates to our wireless network or our internet connection. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at the test that we can run that will check the connections between the wireless points that make up our mesh network.